Hello everyone. Today's story is Too Many Bananas. The author is Rohini Neelakeni, illustrator Angie and Upesh, published by Pratham Books. Oh wow, indeed there are so many bananas here. Let us see why we have so many of them here. Shringeri Srinivas was having a very bad day. Nobody wanted the sweet ripe bananas he was growing on his farm. So you can see Shringeri Srinivas here. And wow, look at the number of bananas he has. Lots and lots. But he is also sad because he was having a very bad day, meaning it was not good at all for him. Something wrong was going on. Why? No one, nobody wanted his sweet and ripe. Ripe means it's like a fruit. It's sweet and matured and it's already become a nice sweet fruit. So this, nobody wanted his sweet ripe bananas and see from his farm here you can see he has taken all of these bananas he was growing them in his farm not his family not his neighbor not his friends so his own family didn't want it his neighbor the one who was staying next to him also did not want it and neither do, did his friends want the bananas not the traders who could sell the bananas in far away markets and not even his cows. So look at these are the traders. Traders are nothing but people who sell and buy things and they didn't also want his bananas. They could have sold it in far away, very distant markets as well, but they didn't want it. And even the cows, they don't want his bananas. No, thank you, they all said. The bananas are very sweet, but we have had too many. We cannot eat any more. So look at all of them here. They all say no. Why? Because they are all full or have eaten so many bananas. And they said they can't eat any more bananas. Poor Shingeri Srinivas. What was he to do now with his rich harvest of bananas? So harvest is when you cut the crops so that you can sell it. So his rich harvest, all these cut bananas, he did not know what to do with them. He decided to seek help from the farmer's center in Dudduru, a big town near his village. So what did he plan to do? He said, I will go ask for help from the farmer's center. It is a center, it is a place for farmers to come and ask for information or help. And where is it? In Dodduru. It is a big town. Dodduru is a big town next to his village. So he is going to go all the way to the farmer's center, a place where he, in farmers can get information from. Off he went carrying the best crop of bananas. Surely someone there would have a good idea for him. So look at him. He's taken his bullock cart and kept all his bananas, the best of them, the best crop of bananas is how you would say that. So he thought someone there would give him a good idea as to what he can do with his bananas. A few days later, Shringeri Srinivas returned home looking very happy. He went back to growing bananas on his farm. So 
So Sringeri Srinivas, after a few days later, what did he do? He came back home. And what did he start doing? He started growing bananas in his farm again. So he is very happy. Mm, let us see why he is happy now. But he did not offer the fruits to anyone anymore. So he did not give, offer the fruits now to anyone. He's got again a lot of bananas. Not to his family, not to his neighbor, not to his friends. So either to his family or neighbor or friends, he did not give them the bananas this time. Not to the traders who could sell the bananas in far away markets and not even to his cows. Mm, I do not know what Sringeri Srinivas is doing. He is taking all his bananas. Everyone became very curious. Where were all the bananas going? So curious means Eager, wanting to know what is Shringeri Srinivas doing with the bananas. Aren't we also curious to know what he is doing with the bananas? I am. One day, neighbor Shivanna arranged a very big puja. So you can see Shivanna here. He arranged for a big puja. He was planning to do a big puja in his house. Who is it? His next, the person who stays next to his house, neighbor Shivanna. And you can see the priest has also come to his house. The priest asked him to get 108 ripe bananas as an offering to the gods. So, look at the priest here, the one who we see in the temples, one who does pujas, that is a priest. And what did he ask? He asked Shivanna to get 108 ripe, sweet bananas, not the like unripe ones, not like a vegetable, but sweet bananas. And what he wanted to do? He wanted it to offer or give it to the gods. Just like how we give either coconuts or fruits or flowers in the temple to the god, he wanted Shivanna to give 108 ripe bananas to the gods. So Shivanna is, you can see, is scratching his head. How am I going to get the bananas? Shivanna ran to Sringeri Srinivas. I'm sorry for saying no to you before. But now I need 108 ripe bananas. Can you help me please? So Shivana, you can see is going running to Sringeri Srinivas. And he said, sorry, I know I said no to you before. But now I need 108 sweet bananas. Can you help me please? So whenever we ask, whenever we need a favor or help from someone, we always use the word please. That is good manners. Shingeri Srinivas tapped his chin. Well, my crop has just been cut, but let me see what I can do. You may start your puja. I will surely come. So, you can see Sringeri Srinivas is thinking, he's tapping his fingers on his chin. He says, the crop has already been cut, all the bananas have been cut. But he still said, I will help you. You go and start the puja, is what he says. The puja started. The whole village came to watch. The priest began chanting. So here you can see the holy fire. The priest here started chanting. What is chanting? When you say mantras, 
it is called chanting and the whole village all the people in the village came to see watch and look at shivanna he is worried thinking will the bananas come or not soon it became time to offer bananas to the gods so the time came to give the bananas to the god to offer them to god and where are the bananas you can see shivanna really worried there look at his face full of worry just then in came shringeri shrinivas carrying a big bag so who came yes shringeri shrinivas and you see he has a big bag that he is carrying from the bag he carefully took out 27 packets and laid them out before the holy fire each packet was carefully wrapped in banana leaf so what did shringeri shrinivas do he carefully with great care he took out 27 packets and they were all wrapped or covered in banana leaf you can see that here and he carefully placed them or laid them out placed them before the holy fire see this is the fire when we do big pujas and all right you should have seen this in temples and he kept all the 27 packets covered in the banana leaf carefully out there before the holy fire on each one was written high quality banana halwa ss farms shringeri shrinivas offered one to the priest so what was written on each packet high quality very good quality banana halwa from ss farms what do you think the ss stands for yes shringeri shrinivas wow and he gave one packet to the priest as well each one has the pulp of four bananas there are 27 packets so here are your 108 ripe bananas so what did shringeri do he said each halwa packet has four bananas and how many packets did he give here you can see 27 what is 27 into 4 yes it is 108 bananas so these 27 packets of halwa is equal to 108 bananas and he said they are also the ripe bananas because the halwa is made from the sweet ripened bananas the priest was so surprised that he forgot to chant in the silence one child began to laugh so the priest was surprised <gasps> wow and he didn't know he couldn't even speak or chant he forgot and everyone was silent quiet no talking silent and what happened there this one small child who started laughing soon the whole village was laughing and clapping so you see everyone is laughing and everyone is clapping now we know what shringeri shrinivas does with all the bananas that he grows so do you now understand what he is doing is shringeri shrinivas clever or not think about that Did you know facts about bananas The word banana is derived from the Arabic word for finger India 
is the largest producer of bananas in the world. There are over 120 edible varieties of bananas grown here. The National Research Center on Bananas in Trichy has a collection of 1,120 banana varieties. Wow. So, where does the word banana come from? Yes, it's from an Arabic word, which means the finger, okay? And our own country, India, is the largest producer, meaning the largest one who produces or who grows bananas in the entire world, in the whole world. So we grow the maximum number of bananas. And how many such varieties? Over 120 edible varieties, meaning edible, meaning that which can be eaten as a food item. So they're all, all these 120 varieties of bananas can be eaten and they are grown in India. And where is the National Research, Research Center on Bananas? It's in Trichy in Tamil Nadu. Trichy is in Tamil Nadu. And how many varieties does it have? It has 1,120 banana varieties in the research center. Isn't that a great number? Bananas are high in minerals that help increase brain power. Bananas make students more active and alert. Many Indian sweets are made out of bananas. Banana thaisam in Kerala. Banana rasayana in Karnataka. Banana halwa, ravakela, gur mitai. Do you know some more? So bananas are high in minerals. They have a lot of minerals. Minerals help our body to become healthy or stay healthy. And what do they do? They increase our brain power. And it makes students active and alert. So when you're listening to a lesson, you are alert and not dull and sleepy like this. And there are many sweets we make out of bananas. Payasam from Kerala, banana rasayana from Karnataka, halwa, and there is a gurmitai, meaning made out of jaggery. So that is ravakela gurmitai. So I hope you enjoyed this story about bananas and how Shringeri Srinivas used bananas. Thank you. Let us understand some difficult words in the story. Ripe, a fruit that is developed to the point of eating or matured to the point of eating. Curious, eager to know or wanting to know. Offer, give or present to God. Trader, a person who sells and buys goods. Chant, sing or say prayer or religious verses. Discuss with your friends and try these questions. Is Shringeri Srinivas clever or not? Why? Name the banana varieties you know. Do they make sweets out of banana in your house? If yes, what is the name of the sweet?